In today's video, my friend Catherine and I are going to talk about work-obsessed boyfriends. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another video from Ling Ling. In today's video, I'm here with my friend Katrin. Hello everyone. Katrin, could you do a little short introduction? Okay, for those who, of you who don't New know me already. <laughs> yes, <laughs> she's been here before. Yeah, my name is Katrin. I'm from Switzerland. I live here in Beijing since a few months together with my uh, Chinese boyfriend. And I work for the Global Times Metro Beijing. Yes, which you can check out on Weibo. Yeah, on Weibo, on WeChat, okay. Facebook, yeah. right? Facebook. Yeah, exactly. we'll put some links yeah. below. You can check out. And then you can see my videos and read my articles. And Yay! Love that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, send her a little message. Say, hey, I saw you in Lily's videos. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> please do that. Show some support, some love. Okay, <laughs> this video is yet another AMWF advice video as we usually do on Fridays and we got a question from one of you guys so let's see what that's about. The message says, I don't know if you talked about this in your AMWF advice series before, but here is my question. I never dated an Asian guy, but most Asian guys I got to know were really busy with their jobs. In general, it seems to me like they're working a lot more than us Europeans. So here is my question. Was it ever difficult for you to date Asian guys because they were too busy? Do you spend more or less time together with an Asian boyfriend compared to a, an European boyfriend? I was just wondering because I often hear that Asian guys are very attentive in relationships and do a lot for their girlfriends. But how are they able to do that when they are working that much? I hope you can answer my question. Thank you. Always loving your videos. Yeah, so we're going to chit chat a little bit about work obsessed boyfriends. And I actually really like her question because it mm. makes sense. You hear Asian guys are working all the time, but you also hear that. Asian boyfriends are super caring. Mm. What uh, What is your opinion on this? Maybe first of all, let's talk about are Chinese men in general, are they work obsessed? Yeah. What do you think? That's a good idea. So right now we are in Beijing mm. and in Beijing the speed of life is literally 200 kilometers an hour. <laughs> yeah, seriously. <laughs> like you have to work so hard all the time and people work many hours here a yeah. day and they do Japan like what is there is a, ter a term called Japan go so tension go means a single mm. dog if you don't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a bachelor as you would say anywhere else and then the Japan go is the person who is working overtime all the time it's an overtime working dog I think like mm. literally translated there's yeah. a rule I think it's called it's 969 so oh. uh, working from 96 six days a week yeah. Yeah. Something yeah. Like that. 96. I think that makes yeah, that makes yeah, sense. Or six to nine. I don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> working a lot. They work yeah. a lot here and also it's very common to work uh, mm -hmm. weekends as well, I think. Yeah. Lots of Chinese especially like not just educated uh, well educated Chinese uh, middle class but everywhere um, mm. they strive to improve, they strive to earn mm. money and money. Yes. yes. And so work is very important to them. Mm. If they're together with you like, and their boss call mm. or they get you know Hello. an email, mm -hmm. uh, a WeChat message that there's something urgent to do, mm. I think no Chinese man will refuse or no. ignore the boss's <clears throat> request. Yeah, they're mm. on like the boss is on WeChat and WeChat is private so you talk mm. to him on there and the boss is on there. I actually once dated a guy who's like I don't want to talk on WeChat because my boss is there talking all the time and I'm so stressed out because of that. Mm. Like he kind of saw WeChat as something negative because of mm. that. So yeah, people work like crazy, but this is Beijing. This mm. is Beijing. It is not the same as many other smaller cities in China. Oh yeah, we also have to mention one thing about like why the Chinese, they are striving so much, like when, why they're working so hard for like to earn more money. Mm -hmm. I think one important thing is to mention that this is the growing middle class and they have more needs. They want their children to go to the best schools. And schools are very, very expensive. Yes, mm -hmm. very expensive. They have to buy an apartment in Beijing, which is insane. Mainly, yeah. it's 
insanely expensive. Mm -hmm. I don't even know the price anymore. Yeah. It's just like I don't want to listen. Also, to it. the healthcare system is really expensive as well. Mm. So, yeah, life pressure is quite hard is, yeah, on the people here. here. Yeah. Mm. So that's why they work so hard. But then, if we move to like Hubei province or Hubei or uh, Anhui province, mm. the kind, the rhythm there is slower. It's smaller cities, it's cheaper to live there. The salaries are also lower, but it's just the pace is more like la da da, you know. Mm. We work yeah, a few hours. Still, so. I think the people yeah. are still um, working a lot. They still want to earn money, they still Ooh. focus on their job. I think the company, the job in general, takes a big part of the lives of yeah. Chinese, not just men, but also women. <clears throat> I think yeah. that too, yeah, for and sure. The Chinese overseas. Um, Oh yeah, that's true. I think so. they're the same. Maybe at some point they're even working harder because they have to succeed in an environment where they're not mm. speaking their mother language. Prove something. Yeah, prove themselves yeah. also back home. Oh, so yeah, that's I true. think your question is very good and it's correct that the, um, you know, in general Chinese people are hardworking. Mm. Mm. Very hardworking. But the second part of your question is mm. also true. Yes. Chinese are also very caring uh, about their family and included their spouse or girlfriend. Mm. Why is that? Yeah. So the the thing is like we the, the <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Chinese people don't really have like big hobbies or this like huge group of friends that they need to go out and see in a bar every uh, week. Like if, if just as an example, like when I was dating like Danish guys, then they would have to go and see their friends. They would go drinking, stay up all night, and next day they would have to watch football all day. And then I might be lucky if I got like two hours mm. in the evening. Whereas when I was dating Chinese guys, then they would work really hard during the weekdays. But then when they were off, they would come immediately to see me. Mm -hmm. And another difference is also that when I was dating Western guys, they would never really be on the phone, like talking to me on the phone. They're like, but I'll see you later. It doesn't matter. And then Chinese, they're much more like, what are you doing now? How are you? Like all mm. these things, did you eat? Did you not eat? Like they're just, they're much yeah. more caring in that way. Exactly. So, so even if you're yeah. not exactly physically spending time together, but you <coughs> can stay in ongoing conversation through each other mm. on the phone. And this is something that Chinese men don't shy away from. Mm. Right? Yeah. Even when they're at work, if you send a message, um, they reply to you mm. or they gonna maybe send you a song or something, yeah. this, uh, an article they see on yeah. the internet yeah. during the day. So yeah. Yeah. And like my boyfriend, when he's at work, he's at work, normally he will text me a lot of times, but his whole free time, he will, he wants to spend with me. Mm. Um, so his priority are really like work and me. Mm. And like family values, I guess. Exactly. Like, and yeah. we also share our friends, like most of our friends mm. are common. So we go out to eat with them together. So he's not like, you know, he goes to, to do some sports and he has some like small hobbies, but it's not taking away a lot of his free mm. time. And I think, you know, sometimes it puts a little pressure on me, but I generally like that <laughs> a lot. That, uh, you know, bee. I'm his priority. Yeah, yeah you're a busy bee. <laughs> <laughs> Catherine is always out doing stuff. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's another topic. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes it can lead to conflict because I, I, I love to spend time with him, but I also need time for myself and mm. for my projects, for my it's friends. And, yeah. yeah. Another thing, if the guy is super busy with his work and he seems to never have time to see you, it might also just be because he's not that interested. Yeah, we have heard stories before about people getting married and then they stay at work the whole day and night to make sure they don't have to go back and see their wife. Mm. In my internship before in Shanghai, we had a photographer. He didn't have much to do, but he just stayed at the office until 9 p.m to get a free dinner and also mm -hmm. <laughs> to evade the pressure of his wife who had to care for a little child and so Ooh, yeah and, and sometimes yeah they also come home but they stay a little bit in the car <laughs> <laughs> for 30 minutes or so to, they can play their phone with yeah. that and their wife nagging yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's another way to deal with or not deal with the problems at home mm -hmm. <laughs> just do that I think it really depends on the man on the guy for sure yeah um, and where he's located yeah. yes like location and the guy like if mm. he is 
you know, really striving to become the biggest of the biggest boss, then he is probably gonna be super busy. But if he's just a chill guy and the work is just work, and especially if he works for like government or like a state run stuff, mm -hmm. then they usually are off like every day at the si mm -hmm. same time. I have met a friend who, her boyfriend was uh, working for a state run something a company. And every day, five o'clock, he walks back home and he can even go back earlier because he's a he's like higher position mm. you know so it, it so depends on who you meet really but it was a very interesting question I think. yeah yeah I yeah. think you can generalize generalize in saying that most of Chinese in general, are a little bit traditional yeah. they will have two priorities which is work and family mm. um, but yeah if you think he spends too much time at work or with work-related stuff just communicate Mm. Yeah, I think you'll have to deal more with him being on his phone too much instead of working too much because <laughs> that's a big issue here in China. Yes. People are always on the phone all phone the games, time. Way boy. <laughs> yes, way, way boy. Ooh, that's an obsession. So mm. you should probably look out for for that instead of if you're meeting a, a, an Asian guy. But I really don't think that you should just not date Asian guys or Chinese guys just because you heard this. Okay, well that was all for uh, this video today. I hope that it was useful. Remember, if you have any questions about AMWF advi uh, AMWF advice, no. <laughs> if you have any questions about AMWF relationships, Asian male, Western female, then feel free to send me an email on info@lenaround.com or find me on social media, Lena Round Instagram and Facebook, and you can also check out my Patreon. Thank you again for Catherine sure. joining in. It's a pleasure. Thank you. And yeah, I think we're gonna go and have some food now, right? My yes, my son. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again for watching. I will see you again very very soon. Ling Ling and Catherine is out. See ya and 再见. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>